Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Taurus, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, yes Taurus, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So, Taurus. Okay, Taurus newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Taurus, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is person A and this is person B bottom of my deck oh i have an emperor for you taurus <laughs> somebody is uh, well somebody wants to come in correct it seems they want to return and fight for this connection um okay from the top layer of cards then the top four cards that i see i do feel somebody feels that they've they they made some foolish mistakes in the past they're feeling a little hopeless, feeling they lost their biggest wish. The other person is, is a bit upset and angry. They feel, yeah, you know, like I've been single for so long. I, you know, they wasted so much of my time and I am upset and angry with them. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to, of course, clarify these cards for you, Taurus. But first, we're going to do your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Taurus and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and their person. All right, just a few more. Taurus from another deck. Taurus and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and that person spirit. That's too many. Taurus and that person spirit. One by one, please. Taurus and that person. All right. And just a few more Taurus from a third deck as well. Taurus and that person. One more. Okay. Good to go. Let's start the reading, Taurus. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. The first one says, what I'm in most in need of, you cannot give me. Maybe this is person B, a little upset and angry that you never offered me anything substantial. It hurts me to say we should go our separate ways. I have commitment issues. I realized that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? Maybe in the past this person was not making a choice. Now they've realized, oh my God, this is, I want, I want them in, back in my life. Are you sorry for hurting me? Please make time for me. Your sexy body has me drooling. You have no idea the pain you've caused me. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate. I really didn't want to have to. I'm starting to understand our connection. I want to talk to you, but I'm just scared. I'm shutting you out. You are all you. You are all I ever need. You complete me. Okay. So the, what I'm feeling here, uh, Taurus, is like maybe this person was not ready for commitment in the past. The other person is saying, "I'm done with you. I'm shutting you out." And now somebody is now ready. Now they want to return back, and they're hoping, you know, they have a chance. So let's see if they do. Spirit, let's start their reading. Uh, but first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card for you, Taurus. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Taurus. Vision. Yep, somebody has got a vision for the future now or you should. 
right so this the way i use this card personally when it comes for me i always uh, whatever my issue is could be say i want to buy let's say a new house so i close my eyes to see how it would be like living in that house 5 years from this date will i still be enjoying it will, it, will there be a lot of traffic will i be will, will the garden space be enough for what i need or are the bedrooms going to be enough it's like visualize what you can see say if this is with a partnership how do you see your, you and your partner being in 5 years from now right and this is going to be a good time to think forward instead of thinking backwards okay if you still feel that this can work out look forward <laughs> okay so to our spirit let's start the reading so uh, newcomers i'm picking up on two soul energies here right this is not man woman no these are just two souls i could also be picking up on the energies of the same sex couples as well so if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up which side you're on right now i'm going to focus only on person a person a why is the star in reverse a uh, person a feels they've lost their person because their person will never trust them again they feel that person is upset with them angry with them has cut them out of their life will never ever 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 trust them again so they are feeling kind of pretty down and out they know they've made some foolish choices in the past maybe this person was a bit selfish they were self centered they were only thinking about themselves and now they feel oh my god i've lost out they want to heal they want to heal the broken heart they've caused they want to have a partnership now but they are little scared that their person is no longer stuck on them or has unchained themselves from them uh, so they they are feeling a little hopeless so person a tell me why do you feel this way queen of pentacles what's the queen of pentacles <laughs> because now they want things to start moving in a positive direction they want to go back to person b and say hey i'm ready for long term commitment i'm ready to offer you everything let's forget the past and let's visualize a beautiful future let's move forward but they know that maybe in the past they made some wrong choices or they never made a choice lovers and by that because of that they feel they've lost out on the love of their person maybe in the past they never accepted this cup of love from their person and uh, that person they feel is now not stuck on me anymore will never trust me again now i want them in my life what do i do i don't have much hope okay so person a tell me how do you see person b now and how do you feel about the connection five of wands what's the five of wands Person A says, "I am going to fight for this connection. I really, really, really want to fight for this connection because I am now ready to put in the work. I am ready to put my all in, ready to start from scratch. I am ready to fight for this connection so I can ha come back to them. The person A wants to return back to person B. They want a return of this connection. Eight of Cups." yeah they, they they've been watching they've been watching maybe not speaking up because they're scared of drama or they're scared of um, that person be doesn't like them anymore or um, hates them or uh, maybe they said something which was mean so they don't know how to face person b but uh, they have been quietly watching from the sidelines they've been spying waiting maybe waiting for that time to transform this connection again uh, but uh, yeah so that they can come and reveal what they've been hiding for so long this person is holding on very very dearly to this hope that they can get the their person back they don't want anyone else they want to have this fertility growth abundance with person b and they want to have victory in this connection again so what action they're going to take <coughs> to get that uh, this is the card which i will open later taurus now we're going to go on to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b uh, nine of uh, pentacles in reverse in your emotions feelings yeah person b says they took too long i was hoping that they would choose me 
but they never put in the work they just delayed 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 and I, I, right now i'm upset with them i'm angry with them because they never stepped up they never stepped up and took responsibility of this connection and uh, there was no happiness here i was unhappy with them for what they did they never built with me they never chose so person b why why do you feel that is what happened here three of swords in reverse yeah person b was hoping they were really hoping for this 10 of pentacles 10 of cups situation to happen that person a will sooner or later come in maybe there's been stagnancy for a long time but they were hoping that sooner or later person a will come back and heal their broken heart offer them this commitment but uh, i think there's so much time has gone by and there's been so much stagnancy that person b feels no they they haven't taken a leap of faith in my direction all they've done is fooled me and stabbed me in the back they've hurt me and right now i'm just healing from that healing my broken heart ten of swords in reverse ten of swords in reverse yeah, I think person B feels betrayed because I think they were all along waiting for person A to return back as well and to make that choice. But uh, things were gradually just moving backwards instead of going forward. It's like the person B has reached the end of their patience and person A is now waking up. So person B, tell me, how do you see the connection now? How do you feel about person A? Three of Wands in reverse. Well, person B says, I am tired of waiting. I am exhausted, tired of waiting. I am turning my back to this connection because I can't spend any more time in anxiety and sleepless nights, stress and tension because my person, this person, they refuse to change. Death card in reverse. Yeah, they refuse to change. I haven't got any communication of any worth till now. They haven't come towards me. They haven't taken any action towards me. They haven't... Uh, uh, you know committed to me they haven't offered me any kind of solid you know offer and i'm exhausted i'm tired and exhausted and i'm giving up what's the point there is nothing on offer here and uh, i'm i'm disappointed very disappointed i want to come out of this disappointment and you know the cycle repeating standing at crossroads not knowing where things are going Every time it backfires on me and I'm burdened to an extent where I'm not even sure whether I want to give a second chance or not. Okay, that was intense. Okay, so now let's see what actions you guys will take, Taurus. I'm going to take another deck for this one. And while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, I've been told makes me feel happy to know how many of you I actually connect with and uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, the ones who haven't subscribed already, it's free for you to do so. All you have to do is tap the subscribe button and become part of our Omkara family. Welcome you in. Person A, action. Now that you've realized you do want to come back or have them come back into your life, what's your action going to be? Page of Swords in reverse. Are you just trying to figure out information even now through gossip and rumors? Two of Wands. They're planning. They're planning. They're looking into their future. Uh, they are... They're a little worried. They're a little worried. The reason why this person hasn't yet made a move, they are in waiting mode because somewhere they are trying to first gather information maybe through gossip or rumors mm, is my person still around emotionally or have they totally walked away from me mm, they are feeling rather sad without person b in their life who they're very attracted to once again i may, may must say that who they find as like one of the cards said your sexy body has me drooling they want to have this partnership desperately but they're not sure whether person B is still available, right? Or has person B totally turned their back and maybe is with somebody else? Or So this person is trying to figure things out before they make a move. They are planning something. They are deciding how. 
but first to know whether person B is even still available. So person B, are you available? Let's see what action you will take towards person A or otherwise. Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh my God, <laughs> that sounded scary. Yes, well, person B says, I'm done with them, Mumkara Taro. I'm upset with them. I'm angry with them. I don't trust them. I'm ready to cut them out of my life. No wonder person A is trying to be cautious in approaching. I would be too. Queen of Swords in reverse. Clarify, please. Ah, night of one. Yeah. So person B says, Yeah, I'm I'm ready for new love in my life. I'm 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 allowing the universe to take me forward. This person I was very disappointed with. They were very immature. Mm, they hurt me very badly. They really, really, really broke my heart to a point where I want to take a leap of faith in a new direction. Right? I actually I'm ready for new love in my life now. And that's why person A is so cautious. But we have an emperor here as the overall energy spirit. What does that mean then? Emperor? What's the emperor? Clarify the emperor for me, please. Four of wands, nine of, eight of swords, sorry, king of pentacles, seven of cups, and the five of cups again yeah they want to talk they want to clear the air i think this is person a who is seeking uh the truth whether they can come back in now they are ready to take responsibility of this connection they want to offer everything for a once now king of pentacles emperor wants to take action they're a bit trapped in their head right now because of whatever happened in the past. Maybe they could be worried that person B is looking at new options, which I do see person B is ready for them. Uh, they, are, they are kind of a little disappointed as well, looking at the past, maybe giving person B a little time to heal their broken heart. Little worried that person B has already packed their bags and left and will never return so yeah i think this emperor does want to take action they they know what they want who they want they're a little worried about the other person who they feel has pro totally probably given up on them right so that's what i have for you taurus till next time then love and light take care namaste